Saab is already developing its new combat aircraft. While everyone is looking at the Gripen E, the company's most recent launch, Saab has been working quite discreetly for a few years now on its next project, a supersonic and stealthy combat drone, which will act as a loyal wingman for the Gripen E. This type of development has become commonplace among major defense companies, with several stealth combat drone projects underway in countries such as Australia, the United States, the United Kingdom and China. The Swedish project, however, remained secret until recently. Photos released about a month ago show a reproduction of a scale model undergoing tests in the wind tunnel. Although the release was recent, these photos are from December 2021, more than two years ago, which indicates that the project may already be at a relatively advanced stage of development. In the photos it is possible to see a model of unmanned aircraft, with at least two compartments for the internal transport of weapons, which reduces RCS and aerodynamic drag. The general lines follow traditional shape techniques aimed at reducing radar signature, such as outwardly inclined vertical stabilizers, which reduce the RCS when the aircraft is illuminated from the side by a radar. The air intake in the upper part of the fuselage, in addition to making room for the internal weapons compartments located in the lower part, also indicates a concern with radar emissions from the ground. Other illustrations show the same design with the redesigned engine nozzle, increasing the level of stealth in the rear aspect. A tailless version was also tested. Propulsion is provided by a single engine, following Saab's tradition of developing single-engine combat aircraft. In the case of a supersonic aircraft, it will certainly be an afterburner engine, perhaps the same model already used in the Gripen to reduce costs and facilitate logistics. There is no performance data available, but one of the published graphs shows test parameters for speeds of up to Mach 1.7, which corresponds to around 2,000 km per hour. This drone will focus on long-range aerial combat and should act mainly as a loyal wingman for manned aircraft, more specifically the Gripen E. The idea is for it to work together with Gripen, sharing information and carrying out cooperative engagements. It is unclear whether it will have some level of autonomy through some artificial intelligence algorithm or whether it will be controlled by a human operator, which could be done through the two-seat Gripen. If this is the case, it would be important for the Swedish Air Force to acquire the Gripen F, the two-seater version of the Gripen E, which to date has only been acquired by Brazil. However, a partnership signed between Saab and some research institutes in Brazil at the end of 2023 had among its objectives the study of the possibility of controlling drones by single-seat fighters, which could give clues about what this drone would be like controlled. This combination of the Gripen with a stealthy loyal wingman would bring a number of operational advantages. In aerial combat missions, it could fly ahead of the Gripen, scanning the airspace with its internal radar and relaying the information to the Gripen further back, which would be out of range of enemy missiles. When a target was detected, engagement could be carried out by the drone itself or by Gripen from a safe distance. This combination will allow increasing the number of meteor missiles available. In ground attack missions, especially in an environment highly contested by anti-aircraft defense systems, penetration missions could be the responsibility of the drone, which would detect and attack ground targets on its own or would pass on information to Gripen for attacks with guided bombs and cruise missiles launched from beyond the range of defenses. It would, for example, be a much safer way to attack long-range anti-aircraft systems, such as the S-400 and in the future S-500. In short, this drone would greatly increase the level of situational awareness, lethality, as well as the survivability of the Gripen in high-intensity scenarios. It is not yet clear when this drone is expected to come into operation, but with Saab about to complete the development of the Gripen E, it is natural that part of the human and financial resources will be directed towards development of that Allah Leal stealth, 
which could accelerate its development. Most likely, by the end of this decade we will have the opportunity to witness the completion of this project. Thanks for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.